Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 72 of the Division Z podcast. My name is Jason. And I am Kay Cosmic. My friend, the Christmas season is upon us, which means a new Christmas event in Call of Duty Vanguard. Y- yay, question mark. I'm more, I'm more <laughs> bugs than ever. You and want a stable game? You, you know, want a you... stable game? No. You don't get a stable game. You, you get Call of Duty Vanguard. And if you want to play Cold War, guess what? More bugs. And if you want to play modern, no, if you warfare, want to play modern warfare, you're screwed. Basically, <laughs> yeah. I um, I tried I tried installing modern warfare right because I wanted to play some search and destroy because I think it's just it hits different mm-hmm. for some reason. I I really yeah. like modern warfare search and destroy, and I can say with 100 percent honesty, it is almost unplayable. Oh Each yeah. Each time a match ends, ends, you go into the loading screen and you get put back and forth, and there's no stopping. Yep. It. It's like a glitch. And then you have to restart, and it crashes constantly. I've seen all the bugs in Modern Warfare. Black Ops Cold War is still stable for the most part. I haven't seen, I haven't had too many problems with Black Ops Cold War because I've been playing more of that recently than Vanguard. Um, Mm. But, dude, the Vanguard Christmas event, I guess we'll start there, right? Festive Fervor. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Festive Fervor, of course, the Vanguard and Warzone Christmas event, added some things to Vanguard and Warzone, like Elf Team 6 and Krampus, and, you know, some Christmas bundles and Christmas challenges and whatnot. Um, yeah. And then Zombies just gets Christmas decorations, and that's it. So and that's it, because it's a side game mode. For, for, don't, I'm gonna cry. For, um, <laughs> so, Elf Team 6, right? It's a very interesting concept. You have to find all the elves around the multiplayer maps. You gotta shoot them, and then they give you, like, a score streak or something, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know about you, if you played any Vanguard this week, but I could not find every single elf on the map. I could hear them laughing and, and, and cackling. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking whatever. Yeah. But I can only find, like, one or two of them at a time. I don't know how many are on the map. Um... And it's so annoying actually trying to find them because you have other players shooting you and like playing yeah. the game. It's kind of like, um, you know, in Nuketown on Black Ops 3, you shoot up the heads off and then right. you can do the Easter eggs, right? It's kind of like something like that. With that, obviously, you know where they are kind of. But when you have other players going about and killing you, you just it's really hard. Yeah, for and this, no... you, you don't know where they are, you know? It's just like, yeah, it's like, like where, where, are they, where are they? You know, I've only, I only yeah. found elves on, on Shipment and Paradise. Like well, all the other maps, given because it's shipment, but. like all the other maps, you know, I tried playing some of the other maps, and I was I just like, "Where imagine. the fuck are they? Where? Wait, where am I looking? I hear them. Where am I looking?" <laughs> well, here's the thing, right? <clears throat> with, with that, is like it's modern warfare size maps, pretty much, and you're trying to right. find little elves, and it's like, nah, 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 nah. Well, I'm well, I'm more interested. In should've been, it should have <laughs> been its own the, game mode. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm more interested in is uh the rewards. And lack of rewards. Right. So you calling cards? A couple calling cards. Uh, I think a double XP token, probably. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I then you get a. a uh, I think it's a Type Eleven Aaron. blueprint for completing yeah. all of the challenges. Um, I might complete the challenges. I might not. I don't know because you know there's not a lot of blueprints right now in Vanguard, and you know it no. wouldn't be bad to try to try some new blueprints out. I might go for that. I don't know. Um. But yeah, I don't know. It's just it's weird. I haven't even bothered looking at the Warzone challenges, to be honest. Um, I just don't because think there's too I, much I just, in Warzone. Yeah, and the thing is, like with Warzone right now, I'm just having I'm having fun playing Caldera. Like that's it. Yeah. Like I'm just having fun messing around on that map and just mm. you know trying to play Plunder, trying to play Vanguard Resurgence. Honestly, okay. I know there's a lot of negative things to talk about in this in, in right now for Call of Duty, but I gotta give credit where credit is due. Vanguard yeah. Resurgence was a great idea. Like mm. it's you know, you know the concept of resurgence from rebirth, right? You keep to get to come back to life yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So they did yeah. that for Caldera and they shrunk the map down to like one or two little areas of the map to make okay. it a more condensed experience. I yeah. think that was a really great idea on their part. The games go fast. It's snappy. It's you know, it's still battle royale. I really like Vanguard Royale. Yeah. Um, Plunder plays really well on Caldera as well. I played a few games of Plunder the other night. Um, and then normal battle royale is battle royale, pretty standard stuff. Um, yeah. But Caldera, honestly, it's a big W right now, in my opinion. I'm, I think Caldera is a really good map. The only thing that's not a W are uh, the hackers already getting around Ricochet. So isn't yeah the anti cheat isn't that doing anything? As of right now, from what I can tell, no. There 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 are still hackers on the maps. You know, people are getting beamed from 
a thousand yards away. Like it's yeah, it's wild. It's wild that nothing's happening really with it. Um, I mean that's the problem yeah. with it because it's free to play. Obviously that's a good thing, right? But then mm. it's just a case of you know if people are hacking the game and the uh, anti cheat isn't that great. We'll say right. They'll, they'll, fi- they'll always find a way around it. They'll always right. find a way around it. That's, That's the, like thing. the one thing. I, I really, I was really looking forward to Ricochet and and kicking some of these people off, but I don't yeah, know. It just doesn't seem like that's happening. Mm. It doesn't seem like that's happening, and I don't know why it's not happening. It should happen, uh, theoretically, <laughs> right? It's an anti cheat. Like what the hell? Uh, what's it made for you know <laughs> yeah, who's, yeah exactly right is it made for hackers to go like ah yes yeah, a, a tough little obstacle is that content for the hackers the hackers are like whoa we get a seasonal oh, whoa. We, we, we get a seasonal challenge called ricochet what well nah. <laughs> uh but yeah. eh, whatever the other thing is too they added christmas trees to caldera i haven't seen them yet because i haven't played warzone since the christmas update uh mm. but the christmas trees are supposed to give you like presents and stuff for score streaks or whatever guns and anything like that um also armageddon in vanguard is another game mode oh yeah uh, that's from modern warfare that's the drop zone isn't it yeah it is yeah, it's drop zone. Uh, except you know it's christmas presents instead of you know normal supply drops it's uh it's interesting I mm. my first game I was immediately killed by one of the Christmas presents falling on my head. <laughs> so that was fun. I was trying to open mm. one and then one just fell on top of me. Uh, <laughs> That's always good. Yeah, you know, it just it just be like that. Uh and then the one thing that everybody and their mother was talking about yesterday, Krampus. Twitter, yeah. the Call of Duty community, especially the Call of Duty Pro community was raving, not raving in a good way, but they were um they were talking about Krampus yesterday krampus was in every single game mode even custom so games he's not a, he's not avoidable he's just in every game mode now he was in every game mode it, there's no christmas playlist there's nothing like that you know we have ship miss right which is the christmas shipment you know yeah. and that's cool but he's there, he's not in like a christmas themed playlist where you would think he would belong no fuck it he's just in every game mode so the pros <laughs> in search and destroy <laughs> dude like for real i i can imagine it like you just imagine you're trying to defuse the bomb and this fucking demon comes out of nowhere and rips your head off uh it's wild man but i remember the pros yesterday were very concerned about this because it was appearing in custom custom games too and there was a tournament that night and Everyone was like, y'all need to remove this right now before the tournament because pros are trying to scrim, do pro eights yeah. and things like that. <laughs> and there's this Krampus chasing them around the map. Like, what is it? Like- so did they, did they remove it? No. They did. They did end up did, removing okay. it in, in custom games. They removed it All right, that so, that the, so that the tournaments can happen, <laughs> which is the funniest thing to me that, like, it was in custom <laughs> games in the first place, which it makes sense, right? Put the content everywhere. Kind of, but, yeah. like... I, I'm just more surprised that this Christmas stuff wasn't its own playlist and playlist. wasn't its own yeah. game mode, you know? Because if you don't like him, then you're kind of limited to playing right with him, if you get what I mean. So, because he's a cool idea. He kind of reminds me of something that would have, um, uh, would be in like a ghost map, you know? Because ghosts had a mm. lot of like special bosses like that that you'd play as them normally. Uh, I think what would have been cool is if you could have been him as a kill streak, that would have been cool. Right. Yeah, that'd been cool. That would that would, that would be a cool idea. Um, I think he seems fun. I think I think when they put him in, like, oh, this is good. they're gonna have a great laugh with this. <laughs> but from what what I've seen, it's just just not a carnage because you can't because you can play seriously ish. But if he comes after you, he's a bull sponge. What are you gonna do? You know? Yeah. No, you're you, actually you dead. Really... Yeah, because there, there's no like executing him from. Yeah, there's no executing him. There's well, they. I mean, you can kill him, and literally the the seasonal challenge. One of them is uh, to kill Krampus okay. three times, and um, that's a that's a tall task. I mean, you know, it's <laughs> like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Like, how how many shots do you have to put into this freaking guy? Could you imagine? Is he? I don't think he's in zombies, is he? No. Well, nothing is in zombies. So why would he be in well, zombies? Obviously, obviously, I don't even know why I asked. Um, <laughs> but that that. <laughs> Because <laughs> no, here's the thing. No, no, no. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> it, he would be perfect in zombies, though. Yeah. He's literally a Christmas demon, <laughs> and zombies, and 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 the dark ether entities, and the demons there. How fucking perfect would that have been to be like been... re- replace the fucking Sturm Kriegers with with Krampus for a game mode? Jingle no. Hells. That would that should have been the fucking boss for Jingle Hells. 
Like, but no, 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 we don't get that. We got we Christmas this. decorations in in Duran Fong, and Let's here's go. the here's the kicker. It wasn't just Christmas decorations. It's only Christmas decorations in like the center area of Stalingrad. Like that's it. Like you know the little the box area yeah. with the pack of punch and the buildable table and all that. Just that. That has Christmas presents and Christmas lights and whatever. Nothing mm. else has Christmas lights. Nothing else. Not Shino Numa, not Hotel Royale, not that windmill place. Nothing else. Just that little tiny section of the map has Christmas stuff. And the Sturm Kriegers wear Santa Claus hats and the Boom Schreiers wear Christmas lights. And that's it. I can't wait for Vanguard Zombies to be a great zombie experience in six months. That is going to be really enjoyable. If they do end up doing yeah. that, I would love to say that in six months. And I would. I would yeah. definitely love to say that in six months because we've talked about it before. We want to see this game succeed. That's why we're a little bit hard on it. Yeah. It's, again, it just comes down to the content, doesn't it? The whole Krampus thing would have been a perfect, perfect uh, opportunity for them to yeah. throw something in the game mode. Something small. But, you know, the community would be like, oh, that's all Dude, right. You know, that, Jingle that's Hells fine. was better than this. <laughs> and, and I know the community did not like Jingle Hells at all. Well, Jingle Hells was just, like, confusing. Uh, not confusing, but it's like, because well, you couldn't hit the mystery box, could you? No, you could. Well, the, well, Santa Claus stole the mystery box. That was the whole thing. Yeah. You, you had to get weapons from Christmas presents. Mm. That was, like, the whole gimmick of the game mode. Uh, and then you, like, you have the power-ups, like, the naughty or nice power-ups that give you, like, oh, if you're naughty, then a bunch of plague hounds spawn in. Oh, if you're nice, then you get, like, ammo or uh, armor or something. Yeah. Um... Which, and th I, th I think the main reason why a lot of people didn't like Jingle Hells in the first place was you couldn't do the Easter egg on it. And I feel like there was yeah. a, lot of, a lot of where people maybe didn't view Cold War as favorably because they uh, couldn't do Easter eggs in other game modes like Cranked. I still think yeah. you should be able to do Easter eggs in Cranked. I think that'd be really fucking fun. But you can't, mm. unfortunately. No. Um, no. But, yeah, but, but then now with Daron Fong, what do you do? You, there's no Easter egg to do. There's no Christmas themed anything for you to do in yeah. Fong. You just go, hey, look, Christmas lights. Okay, move on. Mm. Like I just, it. I don't know, man. It's wild. It's pretty wild. It's very, uh, very underwhelming, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> very, very it underwhelming. Is, it is kind of underwhelming. Uh, but you know what? We can only be optimistic for the future, but you know, I understand that we got to be realists as well. And you know, yeah, how, how long can we be optimistic? You know. Um, yeah. But we just want to, we just want to see it. We just want to see it do well. Uh, we just want to see it do well, and that's that. Honestly, that is yeah. all we want. That is all we want. Yeah, that's it's literally that simple. It's you know, I don't know. And then, did you hear about the? Uh, I'm sure everyone has heard about this by now. But the QA tester situation too with Activision. Yeah, like with, that's uh, wild. Like, yeah, t to me, and because Caldera isn't perfect either even though i like caldera it's not perfect either with the bugs and no. the, you know the stg looks like a fucking garbledy gar mess of graphics and the trees look like they're from minecraft and people can glitch under the map and all that um so it's definitely Listen. not perfect but when you fire your qa testers right before a new map comes out yeah a lot of the stuff is gonna show up hmm. here's what i think they do right I think they port Warzone over into Minecraft. Well then, because <laughs> it I would mean, run okay. <laughs> it, there wouldn't be any glitches because Minecraft mean, doesn't. I think they should do a crossover <laughs> event. I think that's what they should do. Crossover Minecraft Warzone, dude. I want to play yeah. as Steve. I want to play as Steve in Warzone. Honestly, please. My hit the hitbox would be awful, but please, I would like that. <laughs> this Imagine blocky hitbox. ass hitbox. Can you imagine, imagine him doing the clutch? Like, you know, in the, in, uh, in the custom zombies map with Minecraft, you can play as actual yeah. Steve, and you see like, the block hands, and like, yeah. you know, like, <laughs> you see like a final kill cam, and it's <laughs> it's just awful. Oh, man. Can you imagine the fun, like, man. his execution, right? He takes out a diamond sword and just, and like, then, like that's it. He just does, like, the, the simple Minecraft. Or he does the you know the smash move where he puts down a, a piece of TNT and like ah it. yes <laughs> blows them up very good of we should course. work we should work at uh, um hey if uh, Fortnite Spider can do crossovers with Spider Man and Star Wars and things like that why can't Minecraft do a crossover with Warzone huh exactly <laughs> I think it's perfectly Shoot. fine we should do it.
Although there have been, you know, not going to talk about the leaks right now just in case they are true, but there have been some instances, there have been some leaks out there suggesting certain crossovers in Warzone. Crossovers, and, yeah. Um, but, you know, it's just a weird time. I think we said this last week, but I'm going to say it again because why not? It is just a weird time in the Call of Duty community with just everything going on. Because um, everything's kind of in a in a negative state, whether you look at multiplayer, zombies, uh, Warzone, even some of the older games not working. It's like, it's very, well, that's very the thing odd. That really surprised me was, yeah. How the fuck do you break three games? Now again, I haven't noticed. I haven't noticed any breaks in Cold War, but other people have, mainly on PC. That, I've yeah. noticed. Um, yeah, but like. I, I just I sincerely like want to know. Ago. Yeah, exactly. Like I want. I sincerely want to know how that happens. And I know you know people answering are going to say, well, it's because all the games are integrated in some way, shape, and form because of the cross progression and the weapons all together in Warzone. You know, all the games are intermingled, right? Yeah. But I just I I just don't know how you let it get to that point. Like Modern Warfare is literally unplayable. For a lot of people, I, I mean, think you get stuck I, in an endless reckon, loading screen. Do you think they test for bugs in Modern Warfare anymore? Probably not. Right? No, no, I would not imagine they would because we're, we're we're talking about Activision here. Why would they want to go back and do that when they can try to put yeah. all their eggs in one basket like they do every that's, single year? That's probably what's happened here. Then that's probably the main reason why it's like for Modern Warfare at least it's gotten in such a bad state. Now, if I recall correctly, isn't the new Warzone map? It's not on the Vanguard engine. It's on the Modern Warfare. It is on the Warzone engine. engine. Warzone Modern Warfare engine. Yeah, so it's not like at the uh, Vanguard port. Right. Yeah, so. It's still on. I think, I think it's called IW8, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so maybe that's. Maybe whatever they've done with that has caused it. But at the same time, you know. <laughs> It's completely ruined modern warfare for the people that are still playing that game. And there's yep. probably quite a few people still playing it. I'm pretty sure it might get higher numbers than Vanguard, if I'm being honest on um And we'll never know because player counts aren't public anymore. Well there you go. That'd be <laughs> cool to see. After Ghost, that kind of put that in the dirt. So <laughs> Yeah. Ah. Which is unfortunate Do that we can't mm -hmm. have any transparency when it comes to these companies on anymore. Oh no. They can't see how many numbers. They can't see how many players were in the games. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Also, the thing is that I want to, that I, I think is kind of funny. And, um, <laughs> uh, the thing is, you know how like weapon XP is like really slow to earn in Vanguard? Mm -hmm. Well, there was a thing that people found out that you can earn extra XP while playing, um, uh, certain game modes and like you activate a token and then you get like a shitload of XP, right? Yeah. They went ahead and fixed that right away. They went ahead and fixed that glitch right away. But there's because so many other glitches progressed. in the game that need to be fixed, that need attention. And like why is it why is that one the one to be fixed? Now fixed first. everyone don your tinfoil hats because I'm gonna go conspiracy mode here. They fixed that because they want to keep the weapon XP low to try to artificially inflate player count and artificially inflate player time on the game. So that so that yeah. they can say, look, everybody, everyone's playing this game longer and everyone loves this game. I was like, no, that's not the case. It's because you've done that. And that'll be why. That'll be why. Because if, if, if I'll say in that as well, though, haven't they had like a good, like, three double XP weekends? They've had like three double XP weekends, some of which aren't even actual double XP people have seen. It's like you don't even earn double. Uh, and the game's been on sale more than it hasn't. Uh, hasn't yeah. That's what really gets me. I yeah. wish, I wish I held off. Me too. Genuinely. Me too. Because I haven't, I haven't made any content on the game. It's like I'm, like I've tried I'm, to make content, but it's just, it's so hard to because I, I feel like there's nothing there. No, there's not. There's multiplayer and then there's campaign. I mean, all my videos recently have been like covering the news and covering like, hey, this is new in multiplayer. Hey, this is new in Warzone, and like, you know, I had a zombies tutorial the other day on how to unlock the katana, which that one did fairly well for a Vanguard video, but like. Yeah. It's hard to make content on the game just because there's not a lot there. I mean, I know I know you could just go on and be like, oh, yeah, guys, look, a two-box challenge. Oh, yeah, guys, look, uh, uh, the, that, a melee-only challenge. Con but, like, how can you? How, how far can you take that, you know? Like, that's oh, no, like a one-and-done thing. I think there's a balance between, like, 
you enjoying yourself doing YouTube and then making content that people actually want to see. Oh yeah, no, of right? course. Like, cause I, that's the thing with like a two box challenge is like, I think older games it would work fine, but with Vanguard you could do it like, like, because people are going to see that and they're oh, Vanguard. I think it's in general the viewer base in general. If they see a Vanguard video, no. You'd be more likely it, if you posted a Black Ops Three video with the exact same it, idea, it would yeah. do a lot better. Because the thing is, it's going to be. Uh... Because of, yeah, because of how the climate of the Call of Duty community is right now. Oh, Vanguard. That must mean it's a bad video. Or not a bad video, but like, oh, it, it must puts be. puts them off. Yeah, it puts them off. And also, because everything is so negative about about Vanguard, anytime anything like remotely positive comes out about it, no one is going to watch it. Well, no, not nobody, because I know there are a lot of people who do share the same mindset that we do that, you know, even though we're frustrated and we and, you know, the game isn't in a good state, we want to see it do well and we want to be positive. <laughs> but, you yeah. know, I mean, if I I guarantee you, if anybody, anybody in the community right now posted a video, I hate Vanguard. That's like an easy multi thousand view video like. Yeah, because it's easy views. It's easy views because everybody, because the vitriol for, for Vanguard is so strong right now that everyone will continue to click on the I hate Vanguard videos. <laughs> like, it, yeah. it's it's wild. And the fact of the matter is the game's not even a month old and we're here. Like, most of the time the, the in Call of Duty game life cycles, we get to this stage, like, a few months into the game's life cycle, you know? And, and we know like, this happens with every Call of Duty game, Black Ops 4, Modern yeah. Warfare, whatever, right? But, like, this is, like, barely a month out, and we're already here. It's wild. Well, I think for Zombies, it was in the first week. Like, zombies I, was the first the fucking first day. day. First day, yeah. And and that's like, the sad part about Zombies. It was the first day everyone was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I I actually went back to watch the trailer for Vanguard Zombies just to see how much they like kind of not click yeah click baited us I guess you could say right see how much they really like got us hyped for it right. and I seen this one comment and it was um a POV you've come back to the trailer to see how they uh, showed off all the good gameplay off the game mode and realize how disappointing it is my heart and it's like and it's like yes you're right I did come back for that very reason. The, the trailer <laughs> was very. Here's the thing: the trailer was so good. It is a it cool was trailer. So good, but, but the game is just bad, man. It's just bad, and it makes me sad. There's no sugarcoating me... it anymore. The game's bad. The game's bad. Yeah. And and yeah. The the only thing that I will sugarcoat is my optimism, and I really hope that something happens to drastically change this it game. game. It makes the game good because that's what we want. In the end of the day, we don't mm -hmm. want the game to be bad. We yep. want it to be a fun zombie experience, just like anything else. But this one just goes be below the bar on so many levels, yeah. and there's not really any good aspects about it because there's no story there, really, for the most part. There's and a little with radios, but there's like no, like they want this as like a prequel, right? right. As like a building on the story, right? Nothing's been built, right? Very, and that's very the little. Thing that been built. I'm the most disappointed about. Uh, that's the thing that I'm the most disappointed about. The game could, f the gameplay could suck like it does now, and everything could be super shit about it. But the thing that I'm the most disappointed in is the fact that we have no story building the dark ether lore. Like, because that's that's what this game was supposed to be. It was supposed to set right. a bigger foundation for the story. So going into Cold War Two or Black Ops eighteen, whatever they're gonna call the next right. game we had a better understanding of the game mode. But now we're like a month in and nothing's happened. We don't know anything. We still don't have an Easter part. egg. We don't have an Easter egg still, which that'll probably come in like season three, I'd think. Here's the thing for, right? If it comes in season two, right? That's us into, well, that's us one third through of our seasons, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, if that happens, then when, what, when are they going to release other maps? They probably won't. I, if that's the case, they, they probably won't. And what they'll do no. is they'll just add regions to Duran Fong, you know? Yeah. And it's just it's just abysmal that this is where we are. Um, and that's the thing, right? You have Cortifex and Nordicus and Belicar. Like, you have all these cool demons and, like, a little bit of lore behind them. And you have a little bit of something where... You, you listen to them talk. You can kind of get their personalities. And, you know, you understand, you know who these dark ether entities are through gameplay dialogue. I like that. That's actually one of the few parts of Vanguard Zombies and that if, I yeah. actually really enjoy listening to the dark ether art, uh, uh, dark ether demons, um, talk and interact. And, you know, 
court effects being like, oh, Belaka, you will all, you were always a thorn in my side. And it's like, whoa, okay. Belakar and court effects have always been at each other's throats. And, you know, and Victor over here is talking about whatever. Like it's, it, it's cool. Like it's really cool to see that. Yeah. And yeah, then, absolutely. And, and then the other That's thing the that kind of that... not ruins it for me, the, but the thing that kind of makes me go, okay, what now is Von List? Like what now? Right. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, he is he there to just be evil guy? You know, because like, I I, seemed... I I think I said this before on another episode too. He just seems like he's there. Like he just kind of floating around. He just kind like, of why, there. Why? Why is he doing this? Like, what, well, what does I mean, he get out of the thing? Like, is, no, it's it's like he just seems such, like such a, a cheesy villain. Like he right. he's not doing anything. His motives aren't really that clear other than all he wants to take over the world well, the, motives, army, right? the motives are you know because and this was a real thing too the nazis w- were vying for any way to get an advantage in the war and one of those ways and of course this was a, this was in real life too uh, the occult the nazis were very interested in the occult and they wanted to you know find any kind of way to get a, a leg up on on the world and, you know, it, it, this is this is kind of piggybacking on that idea that the Nazis are super interested in this dark ether occultish, you know, thing with the artifacts and the demons and all that. And, you know, they're, they're, they're trying to get an edge up in the war to try to make an undead army, you know, an, an undying army that the Nazis can can control. Oh, my gosh. You know, that would sound great to Oberfuhrer von List. So, of course, you're going to jump on that. Um, mm. So I think the motive is, you know, win the war, <laughs> win the war. By making Win an undead the war. army, you know and that's it, and that uh, I mean, yeah, that's all good, I, I guess. But it's I, I feel like that that there is the only thing that like is there, you know. Right. Like, I I don't I don't know. Like, you, but, you, cause here's the, it kind of feels like there should be more substance, right? With with some feels, of these characters, it feels like, especially with the lack of actual in-game content, you think there'd be a lot more story stuff. You think they they actually build like a foundation, right? For this section because we were thinking oh this is probably about the time period that they'll introduce like samantha as a kid right you know all this sort of stuff like, how how did like you know requiem and all that like you know like how, yeah, did, how did requiem form sort of... how did omega form yeah. you know like we can read the intel all we want to learn more of the backstory about requiem and omega but seeing it It'd would be, be awesome yeah and that's why i thought this game would kind of like kind of be like or maybe not be like but I'd like references to what was to come even and um i don't know i just Especially because I don't know if you remember the intel you collected on on Forsaken. When you collected certain pieces of intel on Forsaken, it gave you dark ether lore. Like it it, yeah. it, it showed you that you know the Chrysalax is you know it's a weapon that can kill dark ether entities. Like the Chrysalax is such a powerful weapon that you know it can kill the Forsaken. And yeah. You know, obviously in Forsaken, we don't actually kill the Forsaken. We trap him. But, yeah, him. Yeah. you know, that's the way to kill the Forsaken is the Crystal Axe. And, you know, I had a theory video that I posted up that I think the Forsaken kills all the Dark Aether entities and, and takes all their powers. And that's how he becomes this ultimate god. Um, and this uh, this other guy named Sparagmos, who is a, he's like a cultist who resides in the Dark Aether. like the zealot who... You know, he's involved in the Dark Aether, and he's involved. Like, he, he's the one who, like, helped make the Crystal Axe. And all this interesting lore that's there in this intel that you go, holy fuck, are we going to see that explored in Vanguard? Because it that's what it really felt like to me, is that the Season 6 intel in Cold War was leading up to what we were about to see in Vanguard. And, like, ooh, yeah. creepy Dark Aether stuff. You know, will we get to learn more about the cults? And will we get to learn more about Sparagmos and all these other characters that are just mentioned? No. Yeah, we get no. uh, we get the same voice line fifty times, which again, times. again, it's it's it, it's fine if the voice line plays like a couple times, but when that's the only line he has, it's like. But they they did add a couple more. They added a couple more. Did they? You know, did they? Uh, it, it makes him it makes him not as annoying with the same line over and over again. I will give him that. Um. And then the other character that I that I'm very disappointed in, or like the character that I just don't feel any attachment to, is Kraft, Gabriel Kraft. Like, why are you here? Who are you? Now, it, maybe I missed some intel and I didn't read about him, but like, who are you? Why do I care? Like, he's just some random guy who's here 
that he's a demonologist and he studies the the occult. Oh yeah. But like he's just like randomly what, there. Like why is he here? Why is von why does von List hate him so much? Cuz it seems like Kraft and von List have a have a history, but why do they have a history? Nothing is explained with this story. Mm. I don't get it. I really don't get what's happening right now. I don't get it either, man. It's just so ah uh, so this just makes me think about zombies and like if if they're okay releasing this as a product, where are they taking it in the future, you know? That is a scary thought, but you know, even, I mean, even, I don't know. even like casual, even like the casual people, like, like they're, they're not, they can't be enjoying this, right? I mean, I, I think, I think casual people are just that they don't think too much of it. You, you know, know like, what I'm oh, saying? I really don't think they would be, because why would they? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know. And it's it's it's, it's going to be, I think it's going to be the casuals and the Fortnite fans. I hate to I hate to say that, but it's going to be the Fortnite fans that are constantly going to be like uh, buying these bundles and helping out and supporting Vanguard and you know all this kind of stuff. That's going to keep this game and it's going to make Activision go, oh cool, we're making money. Let's keep doing the same thing, like money, like. And, and I say Fortnite fan because I mean that's just what it is. I mean, your average Fortnite fan. You gotta call it what it is because a lot of the times people who will just buy the bundles, no matter what, every day, new bundle buy, new bundle buy, like that's a Fortnite fan to me. Like that's just like yeah. you just you just buy it for oh, the sake I of buying this. it, you know? Yeah. And to me, that's not content. To me, that's no. you know. Oh, it's a to shame, me, it's right? a waste of money because if I'm going to buy a bundle, I want to know I'm going to use that bundle. And now I do have a handful of bundles, you know. Yeah. There is, there's did, like did one get... bundle that I regret buying. Was it but... Dozer? No, it was um, a, it was the Matchlock uh, bundle for the Marshals. It was the – I thought it was cool oh, at the yeah. time. Like – I thought it was cool at the time, and I was like, oh, yeah, you know, Dragon's Breath, like, that's dope as hell. But then you realize Dragon's Breath is like an attachment. <laughs> and then you're like, wow, I didn't need to buy the fucking bundle. Uh, that's so funny. that's the one bundle I wasted my COD points on. All the other ones I really like, you know, Zombie Dozer. Yeah. I, I like Bulldozer. I think is a cool operator. Um, the Requiem Reconnaissance, Reconnaissance bundle for Weaver with the Dark Aether crystals on him. That's a cool bundle. Um, what else do I have? I have a couple others. Oh yeah, the the ballistic knife that looks like a pen. That one's pretty cool. I really like that one, especially because mm. the ballistic knife's a fun weapon to use. Yeah, uh, and then a couple of I, other ones. But you guys get my point. I just think that like with the shop, I'd more reminisce about the older games, especially. But like even when the game wasn't as great as it could be, there was always that grind factor there. Now there's like barely anything to grind. I'm sure you can get your camos and all your character right. stuff. But I mean, like, in terms of, like, what Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 brought to the table, like a, like a black market area. And obviously games like COD, uh, uh, COD 4 Remastered and Infinite Warfare and World War 2 did this really well, and even Black Ops 4 when it was done. But I just feel like... You could choose what you wanted. Yeah, the time yeah. the time that you're in... I, I remember in uh, Infinity War Dev talking about this with uh, Infinite Warfare. The more you play, the more you earn. That's how it should be. And that's the whole thing with the crypto system they had. Like, oh, the more you play, the more you'll be rewarded. And that was like where World War II as well. And now it just doesn't feel like that at all. Yeah, and that's the thing is, too, the reason why it doesn't feel like that at all at the same time with Vanguard, especially because the weapon XP is so little to, like, next little. to none. You feel like you're earning nothing. And you got to get mm -hmm. the weapons to level 70 to get your, to get, to try to earn every single camo. And... Like again, that's that's just not fun. Who wants to sit there for hours on end? I feel bad for people who sit down for twelve hours a day to grind one weapon, or grind like mm. one and a half weapons a day. You know, like I, 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 I just, I, I don't get it. I'm, I'm losing, I'm losing my words because I just don't get it, man. Like why seventy? Yeah. And you, and you guys know me as much as I love Black Ops Cold War, one of my favorite games of all time. Um. Even 55 for max level, technically 50 for the camos, but, you know, 50 was pushing it was for me. And I was like, it, yeah. eh, why is that so high for camos, you know? Um, More playtime, like you were saying. 
Well, because that's the thing, right? Because Black Ops 4, you unlock the weapon. Okay, you can get, you can unlock every camo. Just use the weapon. You know, that was cool. Like that was cool. But this is, you know, okay, get to a level, get to level 70, then you can start going for all the camos. On top of that, the camp, like the challenges for each of the camos are significantly higher than they were in Cold War, more akin to the Black Ops 4 camo earning system, which I thought the Black Ops 4 kills for the camos were a little too high. Um, yeah. And it's like, it's it just two negatives in this regard for grinding out camos for Vanguard, in my opinion. Hmm. Nah, uh, it's just, it's a shame because, you know, we're supposed to be COD fans and it's just... Well, here's the I mean, thing. We can on... be COD fans and still be disappointed. We yeah, can still I be mean, Call of yeah. Duty fans and we can still point out things that we don't like about it. I mean, we're... Even though, you know, we, we do podcasting, we do reviews, we do guides and all that kind of stuff, you know, we are still... And, and everybody is who plays the game and makes content about the game. Everybody is, in a way, a critic, you know? Yeah, Everybody yeah. has their own criticisms. Everybody has their own opinions. And... You know, it'll it's just up to the developers and the publishers whether they take the advice and take the criticism and listen to the community or not. And you know, at, at that point, it's out of your hands. But yeah, um, I think you can still be a Call of Duty fan and still not like something because there's so many Call of Duty games out there that you that that we like. Like we like Black Ops Three, we like Cold War, we like Black Ops Two. We can always go back yeah. and play those games because we're Call of Duty fans and we own those games, right? I mean, you know, Vanguard's disappointing. We'll play it once in a while, but we're not going to be, like, super into it like we were with other games, you know? Um, yeah. That's just... That's that's my take on that. What what do you think is, like, for the next COD game? What's the step going forward? Like, what... Do you think do you think we even... Next year, we even get a game? Or do you think they just stick with what they have and make the best future games... Give them more time. Well, no, we are going to get a game next year because the yearly release cycle is ruthless. Um, mm -hmm. What is the next step forward? I mean, the next step forward to make a product that works on launch. Um, yeah. What else would be another step forward? That's a pretty big step. Uh, make it so a system where you can grind content. Yeah. That is from That's like it. a shop system, but not. Yeah. Not like. Not like. Like in game, in game, in game currency that you cannot buy with real money. That yeah, is the key. Exactly. That's An in game That's... currency that you cannot buy with real money and you can choose what you want. Straight up. Yeah. But you know what? You could also, like, let's say, for example, um, I don't know, zombie money or whatever, right? That's the in-game currency. And you want the new MP40 blueprint, and that's going to cost you 200 zombie money. And But you can also, if you want to just skip all that, you can buy it with COD points if you want. Have there be yeah. both options, like there was in Black Ops 4, right? Yeah. You can either, good. you know, buy this thing for, buy a skin for some uh, crates, or you want to pay 200 COD points, 500 COD points, whatever. Uh, I think that would be the step. I think the, the step going forward would be take a look back at some of the other games that were successful in doing an MTX system and re-implementing that. I think that would be th yeah. a huge system. And then also um, adding basic necessities to zombies, like a pack-a-punch camo, an Easter egg, uh, you know, things like that. Um, make sure there's a, there's a list and make sure everything's ticked off it. So pack-a-punch, you know... Uh, there's basic stuff that we've come to grow and love in the game mode. Like it's Oh, and a, and a separation between round based and outbreak now. Because yeah, we, we, we've, that we've seen that the experiment that, that is Duran Fong didn't really work. Yeah, that needs to be like have it in its own separate section. Like just have it somewhere else. Like because right. we'll play it, but like round based is what keeps us coming back. You know? Right. right. Uh it's just and as much as I like Outbreak, because I really like Outbreak in, in Cold War, I think it's a really fun game mode. Seeing Duran Fong, I just go, this is like the wrong direction. Not out. This is not outbreak. This is not round. Base. It's not outbreak. No. What is this? It's not even like it's not even like if it was a giant maps, then it make a little bit more sense. 
Like if the maps were like region style level, like you know, like like outbreak region. Yeah, so right. Enough. And there was like actual but, objectives to do, and there was actual side yeah. quests and actual. That's the if thing they, that I like about Outbreak is because there's so there's things to do. Like you can go do the main objective. You could go do a holdout. You can go do a elimination objective, but then you can also go and do a dragon relic. You can also do a golden chest, and then they stayed, they started adding more things to it, and new regions, and da-da-da-da. Now, I know we're early on in the Vanguard's life cycle, and they haven't added new regions yet, but I'm yeah. really concerned that they won't because of how poorly received the game is and just because of where things are right now. I, I'm very yeah. concerned that that's going to be the case. I am quite concerned as well, if I'm being honest. Even uh, though we, I literally said 10 minutes ago I'm optimistic that they can try to turn this game around, I'm still concerned. I think they can turn it around. Absolutely. Will they? That's the question. Right. Will they? That is the big like, question. Yeah. I think with something like Outbreak in that style of game mode is, it's not like zombies where each map has to be complex, right? But if you have Outbreak and then you're going to have a new game mode that's very similar, you should be building on top of Outbreak and what that set as a foundation, which you mm. haven't done. Because there's less challenges than Outbreak had on launch, I'm pretty sure, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, no, same uh, amount. Was there three challenges? Well, launch let, let me think about that. So on launch, Vanguard, we had Harvest, Transmit, and Blitz. So that's three. What did we have on Outbreak at launch? We had Eliminate. Dragon. Oh, no. Well, are you talking about main objectives or side objectives in Outbreak? Oh, no. Well, even with, with both, even. That well, means okay, well, that we let's have let's more start with main objectives first. So we had three for Vanguard at launch. For yeah. Outbreak, we have Holdout, Eliminate, uh, Dragon Outbreak. Head. Uh, outbreak. Wait, was that wait. one? No, that's not a main objective. I'm, I'm thinking of the main objectives first. Why am I drawing oh, okay, a blank? Yeah. Hold out, eliminate, um, retrieve, retrieve, um, defend. That's already more. Uh, there was one more, I think. Retrieve, eliminate, hold out, defend, and uh, oh my god, I'm drawing a blank. The crystal one was it? <sighs> drawing a blank. Well, Dude, what are launch. the outbreak objectives? What are the outbreak objectives? Oh, escort. Those oh. are the those are the five at launch for so outbreak. There's five at launch for that. Not including launch. now going to the side quests, dragon relic, golden chest, and um Oh my god, really? HVT. HVT elimination. So okay, so on that's... Outbreak's launch, you had five main objectives and three side objectives. So that's eight in total. Duran Fong, we only have three main things with no side Easter eggs and no side quests. And it's like, well, like, how can you expect someone to go from that to that? Right. You know? Right. It's not it's, it's not like it's not like uh like Black Ops 4 launch compared to Cold War's launch where Black Ops 4 had how many maps and then Cold War only had one map, right? Because that was a di completely different scenario. For sure. That was when the game was completely buggy. The community didn't like the engine and how the game felt. The maps were fun for the most part, but we just wanted a solid zombie experience. And that's what Cold War gave us, right? Right. There wasn't really any big issues. Maybe that's a little bit boring at times, but there, it, people didn't hate it like Black Ops 4. And with right. this, it's just like, oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. Because uh, no. I've seen that a lot, too. A lot of people are just like, oh, Black Ops World War is just kind of boring, right? People are just kind of like, oh, it's whatever. You know, oh, it's too easy, so I'm bored. Whatever, right? I yeah. don't think I don't think Cold War is too easy. I think if you go higher in the rounds and you, you, you know. It gets harder. It can get harder. You know, I don't think it's a boring game at all. I think there's still a fair degree of difficulty. Um, hmm. Yeah, I just it, just, it's just sad. It's just sad to see because, yeah, Duran Fong, it's not for the Outbreak fans because no. there's elements of round based and it's not for the round based fans because it's there's elements of outbreak like it, who's it for <laughs> who's it for I, and here's the thing i think that was the question that they were trying to answer who is it for i think they tried to have their cake and eat it and eat it too with trying to combine round bake and round bake round based and outbreak <laughs> yeah mm. round bake and out round, round whatever the round fuck. Bake. um <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. the thing is yeah, in trying to do so, they were they kind of alienated people, and they were kind of like, eh. people are kind of going, "Well, what the fuck is this?" Um, mm. I mean, you can't you can't blame them for trying something new either. I mean, you really can't because yeah. zombies in itself is just a try something new and see if it sticks. So you can't blame them for that. But there's still going to be criticism, and there's still going to be backlash if it's not very good. So that's that. I think I think for zombies, what they need to do is uh, 
they want to do a new game mode. They need to go in that direction of like something like Dying Light, an open world oh, okay. zombie story mode or somewhat where you can play with friends. You can get cool variants of your weapons in that. And maybe it's definitely more of a, like a, a story driven game mode or an open world survival game mode like like Rust or The Forest or something where you have to get supplies, you have to build stuff, you know, something like that. I mean, that, I, ideally, that would be a good direction for zombies if they were to ever that. do it. Will they ever do it? Who knows? Because, you know, they've never really done, done that route before. What, yeah. they're, what, what they're saying, um, there is a leak, and, you know, it's probably not true, so I'll just say it for Modern Warfare 2. Well, that's what we're guessing it's called, and we've seen our artwork now. So, Spoiler alert, Modern Warfare 2 is the next called game, but we all knew that already. Uh, their new side mode is supposed to be more horror-based, like scary... I didn't hear um, about that. Yeah, it's supposed to be more of... I, I don't know the ins and outs of it, but it's supposed to be more of a uh, kind of gruesome game mode from what I've heard. It won't be zombies. It won't be zombies, it'll but it'll be, be something uh, scary. Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's out, uh, Outbreak. Yep. <laughs> yep. That that new game came out for it, didn't it? The, yeah. The, the, Security Breach. Uh, I want to play it. I've seen some stuff of it. I've seen some stuff of it. It looks very scary. <laughs> yeah, I really want to play it. I mean... I uh, over over the last year, I've had more of an appreciation for Five Nights at Freddy's, and I really wanna, I really wanna try it out and play it on mm. stream and see how it is. Maybe even upload it to my main channel. Who the hell knows? You know, it, depending knows? on how much I like it. You know, depending on how much mm. I like it, I'll upload Security Breach. Maybe, um, mm. but yeah, first I gotta get the game because uh, <laughs> Ultimate Custom Night was really fun to play. It was, mm. you know, for those of you who don't know, Ultimate Custom Night is the amalgamation of all of the animatronics into one game 50 total animatronics that That's you can customize individually and set them to difficulty levels and you know the the infamous 50 20 mode where all of the uh, animatronics are at their hardest difficulty and you can die quite literally in less than one second if you're not careful um yeah. God, that's scary. It's wild. And they have like there certain challenges too where it's like, oh, only the bear themed animatronics like Freddy Fazbear and Toy Freddy and all the other ones and like mm. it's fun. Like the lore of the lore of Five Nights at Freddy's is, is so dark and fucked up and creepy, but you know, yeah. Dark and creepy I mean, stories are fun. <laughs> I mean, who's the man behind the slaughter? The man behind the slaughter. That's our that's uh that's Who, our, who's our, our main who's antagonist the there, William Afton. The purple, purple man, purple guy, purple guy, William Afton. You, you see some of it, and even like the, even like the um, in-game, like like arcadey green cutscenes they have for it, they're quite scary. Like they're quite like chilling. It's foreboding. It, 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 it's this, yeah, it's eerie, very unsettling, and you go, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, like ah, oh, that's not great. And the the creepy eight bit noises too that play, and just. Mm. Uh, and then to add on to the fact that a lot of the animatronics are really creepy too, um, especially like I really like the designs of. Um, well, have you played any of the Five Nights at Freddy's games? Yeah, I've played one, two, three, and four. I think was the last proper one I played. But mm. I also played. Um, I played five, I think, as well. Because mm. four was the one where you're in the bedroom, isn't it? Yeah, four is the one in the bedroom. I think five is the one where you go like underground, don't you? If I remember correctly. Uh, sister uh, location. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I played that one. I yeah. played that one. Yeah, that I've, one you I've play a fair as understanding Will, as William's son, Michael. Yeah, I have a fair understanding of the lore and that kind of behind the game. I played a lot of them, but uh, who's your favorite animatronic? Damn, I don't know, man. That's I, I, because I really like the design of pretty much all of them. Like they, they all have their own unique kind of thing going on for them. I really like the look of the withered animatronics. Actually, they look well, really like all broken down. Yeah, they, that's a yeah. really cool design. Um, favorite animatronic though. I, I think like, mine would have to be Gold Freddy. Golden Freddy. Golden Freddy is a good one. Yeah, I'd probably have to go. Maybe um, I think Nightmare Freddy. Looks oh, really yeah. like badass. I mean, especially since you know Nightmare Freddy is. I mean, the 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 dark and twistedness behind that is also just crazy to me. Um, but let's see, what else? What other animatronics do I like? I mean, you know, Foxy's pretty cool. You gotta you gotta love Foxy the pirate. 
Yeah, R. Yeah, that was pretty, <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Um, yeah. Uh, Bonnie, you know, Bon, you know, Bonnie's a. Bonnie's an animatronic. Uh, yeah, uh, we won't comment. <laughs> we won't comment any more than that. Um, uh, we got Chica, uh, Chica the chicken, and all that. Uh, the lore of Five Nights at Freddy's is something that I, I've I think watched a lot of videos on it. Yeah, same here. I think I think a lot of people. I, th- I think even Scott Cawthon probably didn't even anticipate it to get s- as as big as it is. But here we are, man, and it's it's a yeah. whole thing. And now we got security breach. Is he still trying to make a movie? I don't know what's going on with the movie. Because I seen I seen there was something leaked like a year ago, and it was off. Yeah, um, yeah it was off on the uh, uh, animatronics, like a design concept for it for the movie. Mm. Don't know if it was ever real or not, but like. It seems like they've been working on it for so long because I know we tried doing things with books and the books didn't do too well uh, to add lore to it. And I'm pretty sure people weren't a big fan of the books that he made. He I haven't read any of the Five Nights at Freddy's books, so I, 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 I really either. wouldn't be able to tell you. It was on like a, a documentary thing I watched about like the lore and stuff. And mm-hmm. they talk about the books and how they weren't that good. Mm. And uh, people didn't really like them. But would you? I mean, I, I think I would like to see a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. How about you? I would. I think it'd be a That'd great be cool. movie, um, because you think the, a standalone the, the concept thing? of it, the concept of it is already movie material. Yeah, being stuck in a place by yourself at night. Yeah. Well, I'm well, gonna like, try and get you. But think about it this way too: implement the lore, not just you know make it a horror movie. Implement the lore. You know, we we know William Afton as purple guy, right? But what does he look yeah. like? What does William look like? What does Henry Emily look like? What does uh, Elizabeth Afton look like? Michael Afton. Like, what, are the, what do these characters look like? We only see 8-bit pixelated characters, but what do the other characters look mm. like, you know? Um, yeah. And depending on what kind of movie it would be, uh, how gruesome would the Bite of 87 look? <laughs> the Bite of 87? Was that the Bite of 87? Bite of 87? <laughs> oh, God. There's some good memes as well. But... Uh, of course. Of course. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Man. <laughs> All in all, <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's is fun. Um, yeah, and I will be what playing Sister Location. I, I'm convinced now. Well, the new one. Yeah, our right, Sister Location. Why did I just say Security Breach? You're, you're playing Sister Location now, unfortunately. Yeah, I yeah, know. I'm going to play Sister Location. The new one just came out, but I'm going to go get scooped in the scooper room by oh. Circus Baby. Uh, long story short, uh, Security Breach looks better than Vanguard. Better than Vanguard and... Zombies multiplayer campaign, and yeah. I don't know. And, that's the, and... I guess that's a wrap. No, I don't know. Uh, okay. <laughs> the the gaming, thing is, too, gaming... I've been going back. I don't know about you. I've been going back to Black Ops Cold War. I've been doing a lot of record streams recently. I've been trying mm. to, you know, set some world records and just do some do some things like that because it's fun. And, uh, you know, I got to I got I got to do obey proud. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Uh, exactly. I, listen, you see, for me, I. I don't think I've touched Cold War in like like a month, if Damn. I'm being honest. Because I like the game and I will go back on it, but I've been playing a lot of old card games and just playing them and seeing what I'm doing. I'm focusing on my other channel for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, just while there's droughts happening with zombies, I've been playing a bit like odd games. I play zombies on the Wii. Yeah, I, I played, saw that one. Uh, Last Gen Zombies. That wasn't great. That looked abysmal. Uh, it was very bad. It, Make, it's not to make a grown man cry. Um, yeah, I have a new, I have a video that I need to make that's coming out. It'll be um, zombies on the phone. Oh, uh, that's like the no. Black Ops port, not not like the not like the mobile zombies, like the you know like the Black Ops port where oh, you can play like Kino the no. and stuff. That'll be that. That'll be Oof. coming out at some point for zombie stuff. Yikes! Um, and that's kind of what I plan for zombies right now. I don't really have. Just playing kind Too of much. the oddball games and oddball game yeah. modes that are in zombies. Yeah. The thing is, I'll make ranking lists in that when I kind of feel like it. But with the game just being like quiet at the moment, it's almost like it, get, it gives you a chance to get like a some perspective on like the game and like also not playing it a lot. When new content does come out, you'll be ready to go and fired up. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm kind of looking towards, and yeah, what I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm just doing Cold War. I'm doing, I'm trying to do custom zombies mainly for like Twitch streaming and things like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, and then what else? I mean, I, I'm here's the thing. I'm trying to cover Vanguard news where I can, like, yeah, you know, oh, new event. Let's cover that. Let's make that a video. 
uh, oh, a new article about season one. Let's read that on, on it for a video and whatever, right? Like, I'm still trying to make Vanguard content. It's just it's just hard to a lot of the times because a lot of this content isn't in the game. You know, a lot of this content is outside of the game where I'm not playing it. And I'm not yeah. actively like, hey, guys, I'm on Daron Fong, and we're going to do this today, right? Now, again, I could mm. do the Dark Ether grind. I mean, I only have one video up getting camos. But, like, again, but with the do weapons. But you really want to do that? The weapons and the leveling is so slow. I don't, I don't, ha I don't have that much time to, to yeah. level up every single weapon anymore. I mean, that's, like, my thing as well is, like, time is just, it's so limited. And I, I can't be spending it just, like, doing some weapons for vanguard you know like it's not like it's my if it was my job sure if it was my job i would do that but it's well, not even, my job. even the thing is too is like i <laughs> this is kind of my job you know what i'm saying like yeah I, you know this and i'm i'm just i'm still trying to do other things too like i'm getting the i'm trying to get the voice acting thing rolling uh well not trying to get it rolling i've been doing i've been going on auditions and things like that and trying to do things like that but i digress yeah. you know this is something that you know yeah, this is this is I want to, I want this to be a part of my repertoire and I want this to be a part of who I am, you know? So it's it's rough. It's really rough trying to figure out like, okay, I have this going on with a bunch of other things that I want to do with my life going on at the same time, personal life, whatever, right? I have a bunch of other things mm -hmm. I want to do. And then, you know, I got to get a weapon to level 70. I mean, when it's wild. It's really wild to me. I, I, it could sound like I'm just complaining for no reason, but I just really no, don't like. The, I just really don't like the fact that it's at level seventy. I just, I just really don't like that. Yeah, no, it's too long. And like you're saying, it's just so they can keep people in the game for longer. So they're like, "Ooh, this game must be doing really good." Yeah, right. And it's like, no, no, the game's pretty underwhelming. Uh, zombies is almost not there. Uh, you could just remove it and people would notice uh, campaign. Honestly, yeah. I, okay. Zombies is at that point right now where if people removed it, it'd be like, oh, okay. I'm going to jump on the <laughs> wheel later. Oh, Zombies isn't here. Oh. I mean, it, it, you got to... The game's got to be so down bad like to the point... Okay. Down bad. The, the game is so down bad that you have someone like Codename Pizza on Twitter saying, stop all development for Vanguard Zombies. And Codename Save Pizza is one of the most positive guys in this community. When you and have him yeah. saying something like that, oh, you, that, that, that it's fucked up. We're fucked, man. We're fucked at this point right now. Yeah. Keep it for keep it for Cold War 2. Keep it for that. Make it so that game's a better product. I really I don't, hope so. We don't want Trip being scratched out now, focusing on so many things at once. Right. You know? Right. right. It's wild. If they, if they spend all the time, if they spend their time on this game that it would be, on their next project, it could have been the Black Ops 4 experience we wanted, where we have multiple maps that launch, that run well, no issues. Um, but we'll have to wait and see, obviously, because they'll be probably using the new engine on their next game, I would think, uh, to make it easier to integrate or, stuff. Or, yeah, or just, you know, use the Cold War engine. I thought the Cold War engine was pretty nice, pretty fun to play I, on. I think it's definitely more of an arcade engine. I could see... I, I wouldn't mind that, because it would have some variety in gameplay, because I... I don't really want each game to feel like um I don't want each game to feel like like Vanguard and Modern Warfare, even though they feel good. Yeah. Uh, I think I think having that little bit of diversity with the games, you know, will yeah. make it feel because each Call of Duty game should feel like a different experience. With right. Vanguard and Modern Warfare, you could switch on them instantly and feel like you're playing pretty much the same game in terms of movement, right? Yeah. But when you're playing Black Ops 4 compared to Cold War, the games are drastically different. And both feeling, first of all, and then just overall gameplay as well. So it'd be nice to have something a little bit uh, different. It would be. It would definitely be nice to have something different. And that's why Black Ops Cold War, in my opinion, was such a good game. It felt really different. It felt really different. Yeah. It felt unique. The movement was good. The weapons were fun to use in zombies. Um, just, it's just, uh, just miles ahead. Just miles ahead of a lot of the other Call of Duty games. And... You know, it's sad to see a step back. It's really sad to see the step back they took. But don't worry. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. You can always go to the shop and buy a MP40 blueprint oh, yes. where the yes. camo isn't what it is advertised to be. No. Um, but you can do that. You can do that. And, and here's the thing. Don't worry because glitches like 
getting a lot more XP than you should. They'll be on that right from when it happens. <sighs> Don't worry about it. Now, listen, I know I know your Xbox might be broken because Vanguard destroyed it. And, you know, certain game modes don't work and certain game modes aren't in the game because consoles can't run it. But be rest assured, the Sledgehammer team are hard at work making sure that you cannot get more XP than you grind for. Right, and, exactly. And also, also a uh, little other note, Trek are hard at work in their studio right now making a pause feature for zombies. I promise. I've seen it happen. I've seen gameplay. Yeah, of it. man. They showed me it personally. Oh, they did. Honestly, wow, wow, it looks wow. it looks crazy. Wow. You know what you do? You see this here? You press this button right here, and it wow. pauses the game. Wow. Now, listen, I, I was shocked as well. But the thing is, as well, you can also do it on a PS5 controller. Really? You just press that right there. That's the pause. Button. Wow, the pause option it. button. Oh my gosh. <laughs> crazy. Absolutely crazy. So Dude, if you want to go that's back a crazy again, concept. I didn't think that'd be. I don't think that's ever been in any video game ever. Yeah, but the the one downside That's as wild. well is uh, if you do pause your game, uh, one of the Activision employees will come to your house and take one of your limbs. Uh, but that that's the only downside to it. Well, the okay, that's the only <laughs> downside to it. You don't you you get to choose which one they get, but that is the only one. That is the only downside to it. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this episode. Of the <laughs> Oh, man. So today we talked about a few things. We talked about the Christmas event and how kind of underwhelming that is. We once again talked about how Vanguard is just not it. Uh, we great. talked about yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's. And you know what? Just a nice, chill Bite live stream. Live stream. Nice, live chill stream. podcast. Bite of 87. Um, the Bite of 87. And um, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you have a very Merry Christmas. And Absolutely. It's it's funny. It doesn't feel like it should be Christmas, but it, it is Christmas. No, that is um, weird. Oh my God, that is very but weird. Cause Merry Christmas, I mean, everybody! Absolutely, yeah. Merry Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Um, since this is gonna be the last episode of the podcast before Christmas, so yeah, man. Yeah. Do you I have mean, any other yeah. closing thoughts to say before we uh, before we let the audience go and uh, celebrate Christmas? Uh just have a very good Christmas, everyone. Um, stay as safe as you can. Uh, I know a lot of you be going out drinking and all that, so you know, make sure you're with people and you're not, you know, going off by yourself, being a group and all that good stuff. And, there you uh, go. Yeah, yeah, just everyone have a good time, you know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> everyone have a good time for Christmas, and thank you all awesome. for watching us for this year of content for Division Z. Uh, we pretty appreciate it. So, absolutely, you know, it, uh, it's it's been a wild ride this year for Division Z, just like you know. Uh, just like 2020 2020 was a wild yeah. ride for division z2 because you know yeah. we we're just getting started but 2021 started, yeah. was uh 2021 was a very very memorable year for division z and i'm sure we're gonna have one more episode before the new year uh, oh well, yeah we'll say we'll say our you know we'll, 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 we'll do our year in review episode for for next ah, week i think i think that'll we'll be do. fun absolutely yeah we'll do that really we can talk about everything yeah that'd be of course great. but ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy and you haven't already Leave a like, subscribe if you're a brand new viewer to the Division Z channel, and make sure you check out the links down below in the description so you stay up to date with everything that both of us do. With that said, once again, have a very Merry Christmas, and hope you don't get any lumps of coal in your stocking, a.k.a. Call Duty <laughs> Vanguard. We'll see you all next time. Peace out. Bye, everyone.